All right, we now know nine World Cup matches will take place in North Texas in two years' time, but within yesterday's highly anticipated announcement was another fact that has people talking. You know, for the World Cup, AT&T Stadium will be temporarily renamed. And as Meredith Yeoman shows, it is a name that is not sitting right with some. North Texans know this as AT&T Stadium, but when millions visit for the World Cup, it won't be called that. Because of a FIFA rule, AT&T Stadium is being temporarily renamed, and that name is Dallas Stadium. Whether it's AT&T Stadium or Jerry World, in two years it will be known by another name, Dallas Stadium despite being in Arlington. As a tourist, it makes more sense because whenever I look at this, I think of the Cowboys versus where it's actually located. But not everyone is a fan. Some said online it's not even in Dallas County for crying out loud. I'm surprised they didn't try to rename Arlington while they were at it. And Tarrant County, I say we protest. Makes logical sense. Arlington Mayor Jim Ross responded Sunday to a question about using the Dallas name for marketing in the World Cup bid. Dallas is the biggest city in North Texas. It makes logical sense to call it the Dallas World Cup. It doesn't phase me. It doesn't bother me. The change satisfies a FIFA policy of not allowing corporate sponsorships on competitive venues. A public relations firm handling media for the bid told me Dallas Stadium is a placeholder name and could change. Either way, removing all that AT&T branding won't be easy, but rendering show what it will look like when the signs inside and out are scrubbed. I want to go to the stadium. So what's in a name? Well, depends on who answers. This person wrote, Dallas, Texas has no stadium. It is Arlington Stadium. But to this group, the name means, well, not much. I'm from Canton, Ohio. I didn't even know the stadium was in Arlington until I got down here yesterday. In Arlington, Meredith Yeomans, NBC5.